Hi, my name is Kyle. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to judge my project. The title of my project is Exploring Bee Products as Novel Antibiotics. In the past and in today's world, there are a lot of problems due to the fact that bacteria become more and more antibiotic resistant towards their antibiotics. Scientists know that an, uh, a substance called honey can be used as an antibiotic, but scientists do not know if another substance called royal jelly can also be used as an antibiotic. With that being said, the general purpose of my project is to see whether or not uh, manuka honey and royal jelly can be used as antibiotics separately and synergistically. Um, so scientists know that a substance called honey can be used as an antibiotic, but scientists do not know if another substance called royal jelly can also be used as an antibiotic. Um, the reason for my project is to do a continuation and deepen my knowledge on bee products uh, as antibiotics. Um, so my brief methods were an MIC where I uh, looked at the specific zone of inhibition of uh, bacteria and I also did a uh, minimal inhibitory concentration test where I tried to find the exact well or concentration that inhibited bacteria completely. The bacteria used in my project is E. coli and staph bacteria. So the results of my project were that for the MIC, there was a 50% for E. coli and an 80% for staph. For the distiffusion test, royal jelly had the biggest zone of inhibition. Uh, for E. coli, manuka honey staph had the biggest zone of inhibition. For the royal jelly and honey combined, E. coli had the biggest zone of inhibition. And since antibiotic resistance is increasing in the world, there are so many cases where an alternate antibiotic is needed. And that's where my bee products come in. So that is the conclusion of my presentation. Thank you so much for judging my project.